today I'm not doing a recipe, I'm doing my first ever review. This is a food thermometer and I actually bought it online, it's mine, I, it's not a sponsor at all. It's called a Javelin Pro and I'm going to put it through its test and you can see for yourself how it performs and hopefully you'll get some benefit out of it. Okay, first let's unbox this thing. Well, here's what you get. You get the manual, uh, full instructions, plus you get the uh, cooking times for all the different meat temperatures, which is awesome. So here's what you get. Okay, let's remove that and test it out. First, we'll turn it on. And yes, the battery's already inside, so it's great. It works straight out of the box, so no mucking around there. But it's in Fahrenheit, and I really want it in Celsius. So first you take the cap off, and just above the battery, flick the first switch upwards, put the cap back on, and it should be in Celsius. So check it out. Yeah, perfect. Okay, so it's got a very large, two-inch, easy-to-read display with chunky digits, so that's really nice to see and easy to read. You can also view it from any angle, so it won't fade away into the oblivion like some other LCD readouts do. So yeah, easy to read. Plus it lights up, so if you're cooking in the dark room, just hit the sensor button and boom, instant light. Another cool feature, just like a smartphone, the display rotates depending on how you're holding the device. So you can't take vertical Instagram shots with it, but you'll be sure not to confuse your sixes and your nines. Now, it also has a stabilization alert. Let me show you how this works. Insert the probe in your food and hold your finger on the touchpad until it beeps. No need to look at it. Keep your finger there on the touchpad and the readout will stay fixed. It doesn't change until you release it. So no more peering into the oven for guest readings. Now they claim it's splash resistant. Well, it's not waterproof, but it's splash resistant and being a kitchen thermometer, you would at least expect that. The battery is also rated at 4,000 hours. So that's a lot of cakes, that's a lot of chicken, that's a lot of steaks. Plus it will auto sleep should you ever forget it. And then it wakes up again upon motion. If it doesn't, just give it some coffee. So if you want precision cooking, then a food thermometer is paramount. It's something that you'll use all the time. It's perfect for meats and poultry, especially chicken. I mean, you don't want dry chicken, or worse yet, to have it bloody at the bone. I mean, that's dangerous. So a thermometer is perfect for that. For the barbecue, the fact that it reads in three seconds, you won't have to keep your hand in there too long, risking getting burnt. There's a 4.5 inch probe, enables you to go deep, so it's perfect for those bread loaves or New York cheesecakes. And don't forget deep frying. Who wants greasy food? Having the perfect frying temperature will give you perfect fried food every time. And as an added bonus, it's also magnetic, so it'll stick to your fridge or even your oven door. Okay, so we know that water boils at 100 degrees Celsius, and we're gonna see how long it takes for a cheap thermometer to reach 100 degrees. So here we go, five seconds, seven seconds, 10 seconds, 12 seconds, 13.6 seconds. 13.6 seconds, that's a long time for a readout. Okay, now let's try the Javelin Pro again. And I can't even talk, 2.6 seconds. That's how quick it is, and that's what you want. That really makes a big difference. Okay, now let's look at that footage again, but this time we're gonna look for accuracy. Now. Hot water boils at 100 degrees at sea level, and I'm about 40 meters above sea level. So it should be very close to 100 degrees. So we're looking at 100.1, 100.15. Yep, it's not too bad. It's, it's pretty accurate. Okay, so now for the Javelin Pro. Let's check it out. So, oh God, it's so quick. It's already there. 100, 100.2, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.2, 0. Look. 
bring it to the top and it's it's 100 degrees so it's very accurate okay now let's go for extreme temperatures let's get some ice water and some boiling water and we'll try from one to the other see how quick it is so first we'll put it in the boiling water or almost boiling water so it's dropped down a little bit 96 and into the cold water three degrees four degrees so yeah it's just as quick under three seconds um, even from extreme temperature let's put it back into the hot water yeah look it, it's very quick so in conclusion, this is a pretty good thermometer. I give it the thumbs up. It does everything it's supposed to do. It's, um, look, it's, it's a little bit pricey, but you get what you pay for in life. And I believe that's one of those items. It's fast, it's quick, it's easy to read. Uh, the battery lasts a long time and it's got all the features you'd want it to have. And best of all, it's accurate. So yeah, a good um, food thermometer, highly recommended. Nine out of 10, it loses a point because it's a little bit pricey. Cheers.